Course 102, Section 1, Activity. <clears throat> State if each of the following is a right or a restriction. Uh, taxation, restriction. Lease, right. Sale, right. Eminent domain, restriction. Giveaway, right. Police power, restriction. Enter and leave, right. Is sheet, restriction. Use, right. Section 2, Course 102, Section 2, Activity. Put the following six steps of the appraisal process in the correct order. Data collection analysis, definition of the problem, appraisal report, application of the approaches to value, reconciliation, and final estimate. Preliminary survey and planning. Number one, definition of the problem. Number two, preliminary survey and planning. Number three, data collection and analysis. Number four, application of the approaches to value. Number five, reconciliation and final estimate. Number six, appraisal report. Uh, course 102, section three, activity. List and give an example of the four forces that affect value. Examples may vary. There's, um, there's not anything written here. Yeah, there is. It just is. Physical, economic, you don't see that? I do, but it doesn't, it says list and give an example. It's okay. Just read the, what's there. Okay. So, physical, economic, governmental, social. Section 102, Section 4, Course 102, Section 4, Activity Number 1, Calculate the Area of the Living Area and Garage. So the living area is 25. I was just going to say, just read the... Just read the answer. Okay. Area equals length times width. Break into two rectangles for living area. 25 by 20 equals 500. 30 by 30, or 30 times 30 equals 900. 500 plus 900 equals 1,400 square feet. Garage is 15 by 20 rectangle. 15 by 20 equals 300 square feet. Course 102, number two, calculate the area. Area equals length times width. Break into two shapes into, sh break the shape into two Rectangles, 30 times 40 equals 1,200, 20 times 20 equals 400, 1,200 plus 400 equals 1,600 square feet. Number three, calculate the area, break into three rectangle, rectangles, 25, 20 times 45 equals 900, 20 times 30 equals 600, 20 times 15 equals 300, 900 plus 600 plus 300 equals 1,800 square feet. Course 102, Section 5, Activity. Skip it. Course 102, Section 6, Activity. Find the area of the following shapes. All measurements are in feet. Um, you could say those measurements. Yeah. Area is equal to 15 times 7 equals 105 square feet. Isn't this a parallelogram? Yes. How come they did it by a square? I know you could take a parallelogram and go, and it's really a square. Oh no, it's trapezoid that you do the weird math on. Okay, never mind. Number two, answer is area equals one half times five times six equals 15 square feet. <coughs> Excuse me. This thing. Trapezoid, right? So number three, the answer is area equals one half times twenty five plus twelve. Uh, actually, it's twenty five plus twelve times one half times fifteen equals two hundred seventy seven point five square feet. So it's one half times one base. Plus another base. Is that how you re 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 read it? You remember your areas? 
Mm-hmm. The triangle is one half times base times mm-hmm. height, and uh, this trapezoid is one half times base plus base. base it's your sides. Your sides. It's um. Could because your top and your bottom, either side could be the base. It's one half base squared. Well, it's not base squared. Well, not base squared. Base times base. It's not base times base. It's base plus base. Uh, One half, and then you take your top, you take your bottom, you add those together, but you only take half of it, and then you multiply By by the height. Number four. Um, area is equal to 3.1416 times 15 times 15 equals 706.86 because pi r squared. So we're reviewing the circle. So course 102, section 1 review questions. For appraisers, how long, how does the meaning of a property differ from the meaning of property? Property is a broad term expressing the relationship between persons and their rights in and to their possessions. A property refers to the unit to be valued by the appraiser. Number two, what are the two major categories of property? Define and give examples of each. Real property is land and the structures permanently fixed to the land. It can refer to legal interests in the land and structures. Examples include land and improvements. Personal property is property that is not real property and is further divided into tangible items that can be touched and intangible personal property. Examples of personal property include equipment and inventory. Number three, what are the six rights in the bundle of rights? Sell, lease, use, give away, enter and leave, Refuse to exercise the other rights. Number four, list four types of governmental restrictions that may limit the exercise of the bundle of rights. Taxation, eminent domain, police power, and escheat. Define the eminent domain and the police power. Eminent domain is the right of the government to take a person's property for public use if the property owner is paid just compensation. Police power enables a government to enforce laws to regulate uses of property. List several types of private restrictions that may limit the exercise of the bundle of rights. Rights of co-owners, covenants and restrictions and and conveyances, subdivision and condominium restrictions, easements, rights of way, and and leases, liens and judgments. What are the differences among a fee simple estate, a life estate, and a leasehold? A fee simple estate gives the owner the full bundle of rights, including the right to determine how the property will pass upon the owner's death. A life estate gives the owner part of the bundle of rights. Ownership will pass to a different person on the death of the life tenant. A leasehold will give some of the rights, but the leasehold ends upon termination of the lease. What is the difference between value in use and value in exchange? Value in use refers to the value that an item has to a particular individual or business because it is useful to them. Value in exchange refers to the value the item could command if sold or traded for money or other items. How do cost, price, and value differ in meaning? Cost refers to the amount of money, time, and labor spent to acquire a property. Price is the cost of the property if the property was purchased. They are historical facts and they may indicate value. Value is what the property would probably sell for on a given date. What is the definition of market value? The price at which a property would transfer, for cash or its equivalent, under prevailing market conditions, and assuming the property is exposed on the market for a reasonable time for the seller to find a purchaser. Oh, 
and assuming both seller and purchaser know of all the uses and purposes to which the property is adapted and for which it is capable of being used and of the enforceable restrictions on its use. Assuming both the seller and purchaser seek to maximize their gains, assuming neither seller nor purchaser is in a position to take advantage of the exigencies of the other, and the property tax code has a slightly different formulation of this definition from that used for other appraisal purposes, but the principles are the same. Number 10, for each of the following situations, give the economic principle that best describes the situation. Mr. and Mrs. Jones make an offer on a property because they believe it will be an ideal retirement location for them. The principle is anticipation. Properties that two years ago had bottomed out in value have begun to increase in value as new town home to new townhouse construction takes place in the area. The principle is change. A swimming pool that costs $25,000 to install increases the property's total value by only $7,500. Therefore, the pool's value is 7500 The principle is contribution. Developer Jones offers a 2,500 square foot home for $150,000. He gets few buyers because Developer Smith offers an identical floor plan and the same quality in the same neighborhood for $135,000. The principle is substitution. Immediately after their introduction, Chrysler PT Cruisers sell for $5,000 over list price and there is a four-month waiting list. Five months later when production is fully ramped up, the waiting time is one month and they sell for list price. That is the principle of supply and demand in fairy tales. <laughs> Ain't no way that happened with the PT Cruiser. Uh, maybe it did. A parcel of land is best suited for development as a mid-rise apartment complex. Its value will be greater if put to this purpose than if it is developed in any other manner. That is the principle of highest and best use. Number 11. Under what circumstances will an ideal use for property constitute its highest and best use? The use must be physically possible. The use must be legally permissible. The use must be financially feasible. The use must be the most productive in terms of return or value. There must be a demand for the use. The use must complement the surrounding properties rather than competing with them. Number 12. What type of property is always appraised as if its highest and best use is its current use? A resident's homestead. Number 13. Define appraisal. An appraisal is an estimate of the value or monetary worth of an item of property as of a particular date. Course 102, Section 2, Review Questions. In which step will the appraiser define the purpose of the appraisal? Definition of the problem. What are some of the methods used to collect data for the appraisal? Research and publications, questionnaires and interviews, site inspections, Record information on property record form. Record information. Record information on property record form. Mass appraisal development of value models. What does the appraiser do in the reconciliation step? The appraiser reviews each of the approaches and considers the strengths and weaknesses of each. Often the appraiser selects a dominant approach. Finally, in the exercise of judgment, the appraiser selects a value. What constitutes the appraisal report for a property tax appraisal? The final entries in the appraisal records for the property for the year, there, uh, the, there may be a summary report for the reappraisal. List three approaches to value. Cost, comparable sales, and income. What are the three types of data that must be gathered for an appraisal? General, comparative, and specific. What type of data is characteristic of the subject site and improvements? Specific. Property characteristics must be considered as of what date during an appraisal? Effective date of the appraisal. Explain the purpose of an appraisal. The purpose of an appraisal is to produce a logical and believable conclusion concerning the value of an item. Uh, section 3. List some of the tr 
uh, list some examples of trends that affect value. Increase or decrease in building cost and overall prices. Increase or decrease in business activity. Changes in taste or demand for property. Changes in population. Changes in purchasing power. Trends in financing. Mortgage rates and credit requirements. Uh, taxes, property taxes themselves may affect value. Uh, what is a neighborhood? A neighborhood is an area of complementary land uses in which all properties are similarly affected by physical, governmental, social, and economic forces. List examples of the different types of neighborhood boundaries. Uh, natural, such as topography, wetlands, uh, rivers, lakes. Political, city limits, zoning, districts, and school districts. Man-made, such as streets, highways, railroad tracks, utility, rights of way. List and give an example of each of the four forces that affect value. Physical, such as climate. Economic, such as insurance rates. Governmental, such as development regulations. And social, such as crime. Number five, define general data. Forces and trends affecting value at various levels, such as international, national, regional, and local. Why is the action of dividing areas into neighborhoods so important to an appraiser? Appraisers must compare sales of properties similar to the properties that are being appraised. Section 4. Name the three approaches to value, cost, sales comparison, and income. Briefly describe the steps in the cost approach. Estimate the value of the land. Estimate the cost new of the improvements. Estimate the value of any auxiliary structures or improvements. Estimate depreciation. Subtract depreciation from cost new and add the value of the land to the result. Describe the steps in the sales comparison approach. Define the appraisal problem. Collect and analyze the data. Select the appropriate units of comparison. Make reasonable adjustments based upon market information. Apply the data to the subject property to arrive at a final value estimate. Number four, outline the steps in the income approach. Estimate potential gross income. Deduct vacancy and collection loss. Add miscellaneous income. Deduct operating expenses. Select cap rate. And divide it NOI by cap rate to get the value estimate. And number five, what is the formula for value in the income approach? Value is equal to NOI divided by cap rate. Section five, what are the two types of legal description systems commonly used in Texas? Meets and bounds and recorded plat. What does a land identification system allow appraisers to do? Determine the location and extent of a property owner's land. PID numbers must be assigned in a systematic way that allows for what? Future divisions and combinations of property. What is, alter what is alternative name for a parcel map? What are six items of information commonly shown on a parcel map? Uh, the alternative name for a parcel map is a cadastral map. The six items of information commonly shown are ownership boundaries, subdivision lines, taxing jurisdiction boundaries, zoning areas, dimensions, survey laws, and easements, and a PID number. Number five, list two uses for cadastral maps. Number one, to visualize how property is located in relation to other properties and features that affect value. And number two, to locate and identify property. Number six, what does the term GIS stand for? GIS stands for Geographic Information System. Section 6. How many acres are in 239,580 square feet? Um, the answer is E, 5.5. So you get to that answer by 239,580 divided by 43,560. How many square feet are in a square mile? H. 27,000, no, 27,878,400. 
Name the three typical units of measure used to value land. One, acre. Two, front foot. Three, square foot. Number four, how many square feet are in the drawing below? You calculate for the living area, which is 40 times 60, less 20 times 6 equals 2,280 square feet. For the garage, it is 20 times 25 equals 500 square feet. Porches, 6 feet by 40 feet, uh, no, 6 feet times 40 feet plus 4 feet times 4 feet times 3.1416 divided by 2 equals 265.1328 square feet. <coughs> There's a, a semicircle porch. How many square feet are in the drawing below? Um, it's E, 1,200. You take 30. Uh, you add... 50 plus 30, divide that by 2, and then multiply all that answer by 30 to equal 1,200. Is this a trapezoid? This is a trapezoid. Yep. I, I gotta study that one because I'll, I'll get it wrong. I know. How many square feet are in one acre? 43,560. What is the land to property ratio for the following property? Value of whole property equals 193,500. Land value 32,250. Improvement value 161,250. So the answer is 16.67%. You take the 32,250 divided by 193,500 equals 0.16667 equals 0.1667%. Or 16.67%, which is rounded. A property sold one year ago for $64,400. It recently sold for $79,360. What is the monthly rate of appreciation? 1.9%. Take the $79,360 less the $64,400 divided by $64,400 equals 0.232298. Then you take the 0.232298 and divide it by 12 equals 0 0.019358 equals 1.9% rounded. Values in your market are declining at a rate of 1.5% per month. You have a sale that took place three months after the date of your appraisal. The sale price was $75,000. What is the sale price adjusted for time? $78,375. You think you can't be heard over there? Stop it. 75,000 times 0 0.015 times 3 equals 3,375. 3,375 plus 75,000 equals 78,375. A house located in a typical neighborhood was recently appraised. The land value is 25,000. The improvement value is 75,000. What is the land to property ratio? One to four, because 75,000 plus 25,000 equals 100,000. 25,000 in, um, it's 25,000 to 100,000 is equal to one to four. The subject property sold in January 2011 for $120,000. It sold again in January 2018 for $135,000. What is the monthly rate of appreciation? It's 1.04% because you take the $135,000 minus the $120,000 equals $15,000. $15,000 divided by $120,000 equals 12.5%. Divided by 12 equals 0 0.104 equals 1.04 percent per month. Name the three typical methods to calculate the land value estimate. Allocation, abstraction, comparable sales. Am I reading the appendix? Yeah. Appendix, terms and definitions. 
Abstraction, a method used to value land by using the cost approach to determine the depreciated value of the improvement and subtracting the value of the improvement from the total value. Allocation, a method used to value land by the use of a ratio. Appraisal, an estimate of value or monetary worth as of a particular date. Appraisal report, a formal document that states the value conclusion. Cap rate, see capitalization rate. Capitalization rate, a composite rate used for converting property income into property value. It is used to produce an estimate of value by dividing the NOI by the capitalization rate. Sales comparison approach, a method to develop an estimate by valuing by comparing the subject with similar properties that have recently sold. Comparative data, scooch dog. Uh, recent sales, cost and income information, cost, the amount of money, time and labor, <coughs> excuse me, spent to acquire the property. Yeah. Cost approach, a method used to value property by calculating what it would cost to develop a new property with the characteristics of the property being appraised and adjusted and adjusting the cost to reflect the actual condition of the subject. Thank you. Determinable estate. That sounds like a disease. <laughs> the owner has full ownership as long as the property is used for permitted purposes. If the use is changed, the ownership reverts back to the seller or his successors. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh. Easement, the right of use of property or a por portion of the property. Eminent domain, government may take property for public use if, it, if just compensation is paid to the owner. Escheat, the ownership of property may pass to the state if there is no known heir or owner. Estate, uh, the legal system of classifying ownership rights and interest in property. Fee simple estate. The most complete type of ownership. Ownership is subject to the four government restrictions and any private restrictions. Quit. Stop it. Quit. Quit. Uh, force. The cause of change or a factor that affects value, appraisers generally identify four forces, physical, economic, and governmental, and social. General data, the forces and trends affecting value at national, regional, and neighborhood levels. Highest and best use, market value will be highest when a property is used for the purpose that will generate the highest return to the property over time. Historical cost, the actual cost of the structure at the time it was built. Income approach, a method used to develop an estimate of value by capitalizing the net operating income into a present worth. Lease, an agreement that gives the tenant the right to use the property for a specific time frame which is listed in the lease. Leasehold estate, the right of the tenant to use and enjoy the property for a specific period. Liens, Holds the property as security for a debt. Life estate. The owner has the right to a property only for the duration of his or her life. Market value. The price a property would transfer for described in cash or its equivalent under prevailing market conditions. Property must have been on the market for a reasonable time. Buyer and seller know all uses and restrictions of the property. Both seek to maximize their gain and neither can take advantage of the other. Market data approach, see sales comparison approach. Mass appraisal, the systematic appraisal of groups of properties as of a given date using standardized procedures and statistical testing. Miscellaneous income, income from sources other than actual rent. Neighborhood, an area of complementary land uses in which all properties are similarly affected by physical, economic, governmental, and social forces. NOI is net operating income. Operating expenses, typical annual expenses incurred in operating the property. Personal property, items that can be owned but are not real property. Personal property is further divided into two categories, tangible and intangible. 
PID, a unique account number assigned to a property. Police power, a government restriction that regulates uses of property to ensure pu public safety, health, and well-being. Possessory interest, the right to use a property that does not result from a deed or lease. Franchises, licenses, and similar transactions create possessory interests. Potential gross income. The total income a property would generate in a year if the property rented at current market rates and was 100% occupied. Present worth. A lump sum that represents what, buyer, what a buyer would pay to purchase the right to the future income stream. Uh, price, the cost of a property that is purchased. Principle of anticipation, the perception that value of a property is derived from the future expected benefits of use or revenue. Principle of change, the value of property is constantly changing. Principle of contribution, the value of an individual component is only what it contributes to the value of the property as a whole. Principle of substitution, a property's value will be set by the cost of acquiring an equally desirable and valuable substitute property, assuming no costly delay. Principle of supply and demand. The price of a property will increase if demand increases and decrease if demand decreases. Price will decrease if the supply increases and increase if the supply decreases. Property, a term expressing the relationship between a person and their rights to things or the unit to be valued by the appraiser. Property tax map, a map used by an appraiser to identify the location and features relevant to the property. RCNLD, replacement cost new, less depreciation. Real property, land, buildings, and other items permanently attached to the land. Replacement cost, the estimated cost to construct a building with equal utility, current design, and workmanship. Reproduction cost, the cost of constructing an exact replica. Riparian rights, the rights for access to or use of a body of water. Specific data, characteristics of the subject site and improvements. Subject property, the property the appraiser is assigning a value. Taxation, the government may levy a tax to support governmental services. Trend, a government, a general movement, current style or preference. A trend is an expression of the principle of change. Trend in historical cost, the actual cost expressed in current dollars. Trust, a trustee holds the legal title to the property while the beneficiary has the right to use the property. Vacancy and collection loss. The difference in income between the actual occupancy of a property and the PGI. Collection loss reflects the loss in income from failure to pay rent. Value. The monetary worth of real estate or personal property to buyers and sellers as of a particular date. Value in exchange. Benefits that accrue to the owner from the ability to sell or exchange it for another property or item of value. Value in use. Benefits that accrue to the owner from the use and enjoyment of the property.